What's going on guys? It's Dr. Ben with Healthy Feet Podiatry. Our patient here is here for our diabetic foot exam and her athlete's feet, so we'll go over both treatment plans for her today. Uh, unfortunately for her, she made an appointment with the wrong Dr. Wynn. <laughs> <laughs> she wanted Dr. On Wynn, which who, who doesn't make YouTube videos. She stuck with me, the worst do uh, doctor in the practice. So. I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, it's okay, whatever gets get the feet sick well. Okay, ready? So let's start with the little toe. Okay. So this is a uh, this is her second time filming. Oh really? Yeah. I'm practicing. Oh wow. Okay. So you know it's her second time filming. It's okay. So I yeah. Get hired on the YouTube team. There you go. Ah okay. So we got these long, thick nails right here. Very thick. So, so she actually came in for her athlete's feet, and she was like, "How the heck did I?" Get athlete's feet. I change my shoes every day. I, I uh, wear clean socks. You know, I wash my feet. Yada yada yeah. Well, because she has fungal toenails. Fungal toenails are like a cousin of athlete's feet. Mm -hmm. So it's not like it's not far fetched to spread to her skin as well. Mm -hmm. So she has a fungus of her nails, and that spread to the rest of her feet. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's why we. You know, if you look. If you look right here, you'll see like the scaling, right? You normally see like in a moccasin distribution, which means it's wrapped around her feet as if she was wearing a moccasin. And uh, of course it itches too. So that's a telltale sign. It's probably athlete's feet. Of course she's diabetic. Every diabetic should be seeing a podiatrist to get their nails cut, get to get a foot exam to, to, learn exactly what life is like as a diabetic and what you need to do, all the precautions that you need to take as a diabetic. Okay. Well, you gotta check your feet every day for cuts and sores, okay? Okay. Do you have any burning or tingling in your feet? Mm -hmm. No, you know what that's called? Neuropathy. Neuropathy, I heard that term. Yep, neuropathy, this nail is very loose. Are you concerned about the appearance or you're like, whatever, do you okay. care? I care about the appearance because <laughs> I might want to wear sandals. <laughs> I gotcha. So we'll, we'll probably need to test this for... But I can't do nothing without it, with, without um, the polish on it. You mean for us to cut? Yeah, well, oh, that... No, I don't care about the cut. That anymore. and the color, too. So we could, you know, talk about treatments for that as well. I personally like using a lot of different things for um, nail fungus, um, like the oral medication. Okay. Uh... But of course, there's uh, there's some potential side effects. It might cause damage to your liver. But if you actually look at the studies, it's actually a very low complication rate. But that's only if you're taking it long term, right? Well, I mean, you're. I put all my patients, not all my patients who want to get rid of their fungus. I put them on ninety days of this medicine called Lamisil or Terbinafine. Okay. See, so looking better already. Okay, let's pause it. So Lamisil and Terbinafine. Um, it's 90 days. Can be harmful to your liver, but again, if you look at the studies, pretty safe. People okay. who don't want to take it uh, due to like the dangers, it's like saying, I don't want to drive a car because car accidents happen. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, very unlikely, but you know, there's a small chance, but very unlikely. Yeah, uh, I, don't, I don't mind it's because it's not really that long term. When I talk about long term, I'm talking about like a year or more. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> So, I mean, if, you know, if, you drink a lot of water yeah, to keep your kidneys and stuff. Yeah. And stuff, you know. If it doesn't go away after, like, a couple of months, then, you know, it's probably not going to go away at all, let alone a year. Mm -hmm. So, I like cutting it back. I like it also, like, to put my patients on, like, um, like we have, like, a laser here that works pretty well. Okay. Uh, what the laser does, it helps penetrate the fungus um, pretty, deep, deep, pretty deeply, so it kills the fungus so that new nail can grow out. Okay. Uh, of course, that stuff's not covered by insurance, but it works well too. Also, about like seventy percent success rate, depending on you know the literature you you read. Mm -hmm. A lot of my patients will have used topicals prior to coming in, but topicals aren't really that strong by themselves. Right. All right, they're a good Robin, not a good Batman. Oh. Okay, your Batman's the laser. It's going to be the oral medication. Okay. So if you're using it just by itself, it's probably not going to do anything. Right, right. There you go. 
getting there. See, much better already. Mm -hmm, oh my gosh, I just went down my shirt. Oh wow, what the world? <laughs> Watch out for the popping. Oh yeah, no. You know, it yeah. remind me of when. I don't know if y'all ever seen Martin when Martin was supposed to be Shanae and then the lady came in there to get a phone name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, the grinder? Guess what? That's what's next. <laughs> 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 he had like a chainsaw for her. <laughs> oh, man. I haven't watched Martin forever. Oh, that was so funny, man. <laughs> That's what's next with the grinder. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. I don't mind the nail salon. You just got to make sure they're using clean equipment. You know, if it looks dirty, like you walk into a dirty restaurant, you're like it's probably dirty in the back. You know what I mean? So. Need to take my own equipment. Yep. <laughs> Wait a second. Why'd you pick the other Dr. Wynn? Because he, he wasn't at this office and I want the review office. I, I This is the review office. But no, the, but the doctor... Did somebody refer you to him? Man. What is his... I'm Ben. Okay, it's two of... There, no, it's Ben and then it's the other on, Ben. On. So why'd yeah. you want it to go him? Because I was reading the stuff on the line. <laughs> <laughs> I was reading the stuff online, and I'm like, okay, then, then the lady's like, well, he's not, he's in this office, right? He's way I'm like, mm-mm. So I went back and looked at who's at this office, then I said, well, let me just try this one right here. So you got, you got on second. Oh, man. <laughs> so I just got you offline, so sorry. That's okay, huh? No, I didn't have nobody to recommend me to a podiatrist. I'm just kidding. I, no, no eagle here, you know. <laughs> Beating around the bush. <laughs> Beating around the bush. <laughs> and I haven't been to a podiatrist in years, so it's like... So, when you call back and you forget which win it is, just make sure you tell them it's the good-looking, smarter, uh, better doctor, taller... The YouTube doctor. U YouTube doctor, right? And they're like, oh, yeah, that's, that's more humble. That's Dr. Ben. You'll, you'll, get the, you'll get the right one, okay? Exactly. Much better already. As far as the athlete's foot, all right, this is what we're gonna do. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put you on a three, three, uh, three prong treatment plan. Number one, I'm gonna eat on an antifungal with a little bit of steroid in there. And I want you to put that on one week on and one week off. Okay. Okay, if you do it too long, it's gonna, you know, damage your skin. I'm also gonna get you like an antifungal shampoo. I want you to wash your feet daily with that. Okay. Get in between the hose, that's gonna help clear up the skin really well all right another one is i'm going to also also get you on a maintenance cream the issue with a lot of my patients is that they stop treatment altogether after it clears up and then it comes back all right okay. what happens when you clean your house does it stay clean forever uh-uh uh -uh. so you got to maintain it you maintain you with the shampoo yeah. and the cream okay otherwise it's working way better already huh yeah it is even feeling better. Yeah, right? So why do the toenails be thick? Do it supposed that, to get that's thick? That's the fungus. So that's why we're going to test it. Oh, and we'll talk, we'll, we'll talk about, you know, uh, the what treatments you would like to go on um, afterwards once this clears up. So we'll see you back, you know, in a little bit, right? Okay. See? Way better. See, if you went to the other doctor when you'd only have nine toes now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all I need all of them to balance myself. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to finish up off camera. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Be sure to like, subscribe to your YouTube channel. We'll try to get these videos uh, coming. Take care. Bye.